To start a new consultation, navigate to the patient file either through your calendar or through the search bar at the top. Once you've opened your patient file, in the top right click on Start Consult. From here you can click on a complaint through the templates such as chest pain. You can select the visit type by clicking on it such as COVID-19. From there you have some additional notes that you can complete. If you have any other notes that you would like to add, feel free to click here and then type in your notes. If you have a stylus, you can click on the stylus icon. From there, you can draw out or write any notes, add a template, and select from our predefined templates that you can use for further note taking. With your stylus, you can simply write, draw, annotate, and mark on it. If you're happy with your results, click on save. Once you've captured your complaints, the visit types, and your additional notes, move on forward to the examination. All the checks that you do can be captured here. Again, you can add additional notes here or use your stylus by clicking on the stylus icon. The symptoms you added will be populated in this top tab section. In our template, we selected cough. From here, we can add additional notes or add these additional selections. Once you are done with your examination, move on forward to the Diagnose and Prescribe button. From the Diagnose button, you have multiple templates that you can pick from. This will automatically fill the field for the line items. As we mentioned, this patient is here for COVID-19. So, to add COVID-19, we can simply click on the template. This will automatically populate the line item field with all the required medicines and procedures. In the event where you don't want to use a template, or if the diagnosis is not available through a template, you can go ahead and click to the right of templates and progress through these fields. Let's look at diagnosis. From here, you can search the diagnosis through the ICD codes. Once you've found the diagnosis, move on over to medicine. Here is where you will search for a medicine and then add the medicines that you will prescribe to the patient. Once you've done with medicines, move on over to procedures. From here, you can add any additional procedures that you perform. Once you've selected your procedure, click on consumables. Consumables will be anything additional that you use, such as your PPE, your gloves, your syringes, or anything else that you want to add onto consumables. Now that you've added all your diagnosis, medicines, and procedures, move on over to the review. Within the review, you can see and double check that all the right medicines are prescribed and all the correct procedures are added. Should you want to save this as a template for future use, click on Save as Template. This will then be found under the Templates tab for future use. In the top tab over here, you can move on over to Plan. If the patient requires a sick note, you can simply toggle the switch for sick note. You can choose to add the diagnosis and select the dates from when they will be booked off until when they will return. If you have any custom letters, you can add a custom letter to that. If you want to add a referral letter, should they need to go see a different specialist, you can create a template from here. And if you need to print out the sick note, you can print it out in the option here below. Should you want to add any other additional notes, you can do so by typing or doing it through your stylus by clicking on the stylus button. You're also able to SMS the patient should they need to return and add additional outcomes. Once you are done with your consultation, click on review. If you want to send these line items back to your admin that is using My MPS, do so by clicking Send to Admin. And once you are done with the consultation, simply click on Finish.